lovelies. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am obsessed with my appearance. So I put my hair up in another ponytail today. You're welcome. And if you haven't watched my channel forever and this is the first video, I'm not obsessed with appearance and I really don't care. But I did care enough to put, it was like a low pony that was like falling out and I put it on and I turned this overhead light that I think might kill me. Like physically like beam into my eyes and kill my brain. Okay. I'm going to tell some funny story today. Uh, I have a really bad headache so talking helps and I hope that this video doesn't cut off because I did a whole long video that I still need to edit and I can't edit on any computer because it doesn't have an editing program. So anyways back to the funny story. So one of my best friends, her, she's in a master's program and just doing all her worky work, but she wants to eventually work with sex trafficking. So I worked with kids that have emotional and mental and emotional needs and um, violent tendencies. So uh, that's something that's close to my heart because a lot of the kids I worked with were sexually abused. Uh, so I, I promise you the story is going to be funny. Uh, so I was going through my Netflix thing and I watched, I don't know what I watched, but it was like a documentary and usually they'll show you other documentaries and one of them was called Are All Men Pedophiles? So I thought, that sounds like, I have to at least watch the first five minutes of that. And it actually is really, really interesting. Like they really get into like the history and the derivatives of the words and um, it's not as like graphic as I thought it was going to be, so that's a good thing. Um, and then also the religious aspects of it, and um, and then also like personal accounts. So it's really cool. I mean, I mean, it's very interesting to me. That's very fascinating because I like to learn and expand, even if it's a difficult subject and very difficult for me to listen to and hear about. Um, it's real and it's happening and I don't just want to be blind to it so um, but I wanted to tell my best friend about it because although I think that she'll disagree with a lot of it and have a very difficult time talking because there's like actual like pedophiles that are speaking on it and um, someone that works so closely with kids like you just I mean it happens to me there's just like a fire that comes up in you and you just want to like murder them but uh, Regardless, uh, I thought that she would find it interesting and even um, educational because I worked with sexually abused kids and I didn't know a lot of stuff. Like, I didn't know what a hebophile was and that's like super common. Like, I should know that word and be using it. Uh, but anyways, so also on the flip side, my uh, sister, who is absolutely amazing, has known that I've been having a difficult time with um, keeping up with my videos and just, I was having a lot of panic attacks. I had a migraine that just put me out for like a long time, headaches and um, just a lot of trouble. And I am obsessed with this book called In the After. It was a debut book um, for the author and she put it on Audible and I wrote her a message uh, the author on Goodreads, which if you have Goodreads, be my friend because you'll know all the books I read and I can recommend to you books and all that kind of stuff. I love that app. It's amazing. I get nothing for talking about it to you guys. So anyways, so I um, wrote her a message on Goodreads saying how much I appreciated it as someone that is chronically ill that she actually put it on Audible because it costs a lot of money to get someone to be the narrator and to put it on Audible and um, as a debut book normally people don't do that. Uh, so she actually personally wrote back to me and asked me if I would do a review of the book because I write little reviews on Goodreads just for myself because I forget so I kind of write them on there but I really really liked that book so um, I was like sure yeah so I wrote a book on a review on audible and gave it five stars or whatever because I absolutely loved it and uh, so I was taught I was actually just recently talking to my mom about it because it takes so long for people that listen to audio audiobooks because first you have to wait a year 
or so for them to write the follow-up because this was a series um and I didn't know how long it was going to be luckily it's only two books which is awesome I but like too far I can't even remember the characters names uh so this is going to be awesome so uh I didn't know when okay so it takes about a year for the author to write it then they usually put the name the title out which gets some hype and then they usually put the cover of the book out, which gets a lot of hype because people are really into covers of books. I didn't know that. I mean, I think they're cool, but I didn't know people were really into that. And then they do the advanced copies for bloggers or reviewers, which I could technically get, but I don't know. I just feel uncomfortable. And then, uh, then they give out, then they come to hard copy. And then if the person, the author has put the money or the publishing company put the money into it and had the narrator come in, then it goes to audio. So it's really tough because you don't know when these are going to come out because usually they do the release date and that's like not the date that it goes on audio. So anyways, so my sister out of nowhere knew that I was having such a hard time recently, sent me, uh, I got in my email like you've gotten a free credit to get this book and it was in the end which is the follow-up and the conclusion to in the after so I was so excited so I was messaging her just saying like you know you're so sweet thank you so much and she was like yeah you got it I hope you like it and I wrote I love it I already downloaded it I'm so excited I was just telling my mom how long it takes for books in series to come out you are the sweetest thank you sissy and then directly after that, this is the worst text mishap I've ever had. I wrote, it's called, Are All Men Pedophiles? It's very interesting. They look at the history and the derivatives of word and firsthand accounts and the laws, etc. Yeah, so, and my sister has no idea about my friend no idea about my work when I was working with sexually abused kids. That's just kind of out of nowhere. Probably terrified her. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I meant to send that to the friend that actually would find it educational and interesting and would understand how I'm kind of a little lackadaisical about saying, you should watch this because she had just asked me what's the title of it you know like what is it so I can watch it and that's what I said but only I said that to my sister who had just sent me a book not to the friend that it wants to work with um, victims of sexual trafficking <laughs> so that happened today good start no, rule number one don't put overhead lights on when you have a really bad headache. And rule number two, no texting. Because also this freaking screen is bright. So, that's my story for the day. I hope you guys are in pain-free, stress-free day. And I hope you guys had a good laugh. And I hope you guys understand that that is such a fibro moment. And I am sending out X double O's to you guys. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.